How does ARC A770 stack up against the AMD and NVIDIA competition? Is SS a true DLSS competitor? And what about all the Avon video hype? Could Intel fix its drivers to the point where it won't be one of the first things people warn you about? We'll look to answer all these questions in this video. So, let's start with the overview. ARC Alchemist Architecture Recap We've had plenty of details on Intel's ARC Alchemist Architecture which we've known about since last year. We now have final clocks and specs, as well as pricing. But it's worth revisiting the road Intel has traveled. The first time we heard about ARC GPU, we anticipated a late 2021 or early 2022 launch. By that metric, Intel is nearly a year late to the party blame COVID, supply chain issues, and even the Russian invasion of Ukraine if you're looking for reasons. Intel Arc A770 specifications. In terms of specs and features, Intel's Arc GPU end up looking a lot more like Nvidia's GPU than AMD offerings, with the extra matrix cores and a much bigger emphasis on ray tracing hardware. The three mid-range Arc cards deliver theoretical compute performance of 10.4 to 17.2 teraflops of FP32. Note that Intel uses typical game clocks, though, in our testing. We've seen a lot of cases where the clock speed is far higher than the nominal 2.1 GHz listed above. Arc's ray tracing capabilities have been a bit difficult to pin down up to now. The A380 did deliver better RT performance than the RX 6500 X key, but that's hardly praiseworthy. With four times the cores and hardware, we're expecting a lot more from the A770 and A750 and Intel has even shown benchmarks where the A770 clearly beat the RTX 3060 with ray tracing enabled. Intel Arc A770 hardware. We took a look at the hardware previously in our first unboxing, and it's a little surprising just how nice the A770 is. As a piece of hardware design, it's exquisite. The entire design is screwless, save for the ones required to actually fix the I-O plate to the card. It's subtle and stylish, and on the A770 you have a splash of RGB to remind you that you're a gamer. Intel Arc A770 Gaming Performance When it comes to gaming there's more than just the GPU to talk about. Intel also has its own upscaling tech now, known as SS. In simple terms, you can think of it like NVIDIA DLSS or AMD FSR. It renders frames at a low resolution, passes them through its engine, and upscales them back to whatever resolution you're playing at. It's not quite the same as playing at native resolution, but the idea is that it's close enough in detail while giving your frames per second a nice little boost. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave your comment in the comment section below. What do you think about this particular model? 